Hey guys, this is a video on um, if you have a Whirlpool uh, refrigerator with bottom freezer and you wind up seeing some water on the floor around the refrigerator one day and you come to investigate and you find about a half inch thick of ice in the bottom. Well what happens is that little drain hole right there gets clogged up. Uh, when your freezer goes into defrost the uh, water is supposed to go down that drain hole and into a little catch pan in the back where it gets evaporated. But there's a little black uh, kind of nipple or rubber piece on the bottom of that drain tube that gets kind of hot and sticky gets clogged up, it gets hair in it, and it closes shut. So then the water has nowhere to go, it freezes up, and then runs down into the bottom of your freezer. Right down here. And then when it gets so full, it will start to melt and run out here onto your floor. So after three tries, I figured out how to fix it for free and permanently. First you need to unplug your refrigerator, come to the back side, and you're going to see this metal um, cover. There's, uh, I don't know, seven or nine screws in there, takes a quarter inch drive. Take all those screws out, lay this back, and you'll see that little orangish brownish connector connected to those two pins. Just pull that straight out and then this will drop down. Then you come over here and you see that little gray slide. It's kind of like a slide tube I guess. And right at the top of it where that little white drain tube comes down there's a little black nipple. Now what worked for me is I pulled that thing off and threw it in the garbage. First time I did it I just drilled it out uh, to make the hole bigger and within about three weeks it just clogged up again. So I took that little black nipple off and threw it away. You guys can do what you want with it. Uh, Whirlpool does sell a kit, it's called like a P-trap kit. I don't know how much it costs but I didn't need that either. Um, actually I didn't spend a dime on this fix other than you know my own time which is about 35 minutes. So right there is the little catch pan where your water will go and gets evaporated. Uh, but there's a couple key things that I learned uh, while I was fixing this. And that is that little drain hole back there. Let me get some light in here again. The little drain hole back in there has to be completely defrosted or the ice melted. Uh, the first time I did it I used a heat gun and I thought I got it all but there was obviously a little bit of ice still left in there and it froze back shut after a couple weeks. So the next time I did it I turned my tap, my uh, hot water tap on full hot and I poured hot water across that little drain hole uh, until it started running out the back down that little gray slide into the catch pan. And then I proceeded to fill up about nine more glasses of very hot water, dumping it slowly down that drain hole, and then soaked up the water in the back in that catch pan. You have to get all of that ice melted. Uh, most people don't have the time to unplug the refrigerator, take everything out of it, and let it sit for 24 hours. So I had to melt it all real quick. So make sure you spend the time to get that little drain hole right in there totally melted. Um, if you think you got it all, dump another glass of hot water on it. Um, 
I tried that heat gun and the hair dryer and just it wasn't going fast enough and it just wasn't getting at all uh, but the hot water is what did the trick um, and that's what fixed it for me so easiest thing is to remove this top rack and you can do that pretty easily by you got four screws right here one here one on the bottom and then on the other side this front panel right here comes totally off this basket will come out start dumping your hot water down that drain hole um, do what you want with the rubber boot like I said I threw mine away mine's been uh, completely ice free for three months everything works perfect um, and that's your free fix I think total time took me about uh, 35 minutes and uh, nothing got defrosted um, all the food stayed good I didn't have to empty out the refrigerator and I didn't spend the extra money on that P-trap that Whirlpool tries to sell you so thanks for watching see ya